Today, we're diving into a condition called fibula hemimelia. So fibula hemimelia is a rare birth condition that uh, predisposes to the legs being of different heights. So what is fibula hemimelia? Fibula hemimelia is a condition where a child is born with a partially developed or completely missing fibula. The fibula is one of the two bones in the lower leg. So this affects the alignment of the entire leg, leading to the difference in the heights of the legs it can lead to foot deformities and even walking instability. So the severity can vary. Some children have a mild difference in the, leg, in the leg length, while others have a very significantly shortened limb with missing bones in the foot and misalignment at the ankle. In most cases, the exact reason isn't known, but we do know it happens very early in pregnancy when the baby's limbs are forming. So some possible causes include genetic factors, so though it's not usually inherited from parents, it's important to know that it can be associated with genetic factors. Uh, it can be environmental factors, possibility to blood supply interruption during the fetal development. Um, sometimes it's random occurrences, meaning it can happen without a clear underlying reason. What are the symptoms of fibula mammalia? Fibula mammalia can be noticed at birth or even during a prenatal ultrasound. Uh, common symptoms include a limb leg discrepancy, so one leg is often shorter than the other. Um, they are often foot and ankle deformity, so a foot might be turned inwards or even have missing toes. They normally have knee and hip issues, the knee may be unstable and in some cases the hip may actually be affected as well, either completely dislocated or just be abnormal. They could have walking difficulties, so as the child grows, they may limp or have trouble bearing weight on the affected leg, particularly the shorter one. How do we diagnose fibula hemimelia? So, fibula hemimelia is typically diagnosed at birth or even before birth with an ultrasound. So, to get a clearer picture, we normally get x rays, so this helps us see how the fibula is missing and also check for the alignment of the bones. Sometimes you can get CT scans or MRIs. In some cases, this help evaluate the joint and muscle development. The clinical examination is very important. So we, the clinical exam helps us assess the length, the leg length, the foot shape, and the appearance and the overall function of the limb. Now let's talk about the treatment of fibula media. So the treatment plan depends on how severe the condition is and how much of the fibula is missing. So the main options, so we typically divide the treatment into two options. There's the non-surgical treatment and surgical treatment. The treatment plan depends on how severe the condition is and how much of the fibula is missing. So the options are typically divided into non-surgical treatment and surgical treatment. The non-surgical treatment is often reserved for the milder symptoms or early on in the presentation. And the options available in the non-surgical treatment include use of a shoe lift. So this may help compensate for a small limb leg discrepancy, typically discrepancies that are less than four centimeters. In a non-surgical treatment, we also recommend physiotherapy uh, to help strengthen the muscles. We recommend uh, physiotherapy to help with the gait. We recommend physiotherapy to help with the gait together with occupational therapy. So the surgical options are used to correct the limb discrepancy. So for the surgical options, we have things like limb lengthening surgery. So for moderate cases, a procedure called limb lengthening can gradually stretch the shorter leg using an external or internal device. And there's also reconstructive surgery. In cases where the foot and ankle are unstable or severely deformed, surgery can help improve the function and appearance. Another option is amputation and use of prosthetics. So in severe cases where the foot is non-functional, amputation with a prosthetic limb may offer the best long-term outcome for mobility and independence. So what happens if we don't treat it? What happens if the treatment isn't offered in time or at all? So without treatment, fibula mammalia can lead to one difficulty walking. The leg length can cause limping or discomfort. There could be joint problems, so the knee and the ankle and the hip can be affected over time as the child grows. Uh, because of the limb leg discrepancy, it can have an effect on the back and posture. So in untreated limb leg discrepancy, it can lead to backbone alignment issues and chronic pain ultimately. And that's why we need to identify these conditions and treat them effectively. So there you have it, fibula mammalia is a rare but manageable condition. And with the right treatment, the kids can grow up to run, jump, and play just like everyone else. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more easy to understand pediatric orthopedic content. Uh, if you've got questions, just drop them down in the comments below 
and I'll do my best to answer them. And until next time, keep it on the Instagram ones.